Hi hey YouTube, this is Jackie from Jackie Tech Review. Today I'm going to show you how to boot Android onto your HD2. So uh, basically you have to download an Android ROM for your HD2. And that file is actually a zip file, so if you don't have any programs to open or extract that, you would have to download uh, a program I recommend, 7-Zip. It's easy, it's simple. I'll copy and paste this link onto the description box so you can do the same thing as well and download from here. And also, um, after you're done downloading that and installing that, uh, you have to go to this website called gamesquare.co.uk and I will also put that link under the description box. Um, as you can see here when you're at this site, there are multiple uh, ROMs of the Android versions there are um, with Sense and without Sense. That's the standard Android build. Um, most of them are by Darkstone, and the recent one that I've tested is Froyo Stone series. Um, this is version 3.2. It's updated in October 17th. So once you scroll all the way down the bottom, it says Download. Go ahead and do that, and click on that Direct Download. So once you have been download, uh, finished downloading, uh, you will see a file like this, and right click on it. Um, if you have your own uh, zip program, just click in there and extract files from there. If you're using 7-zip like I recommended, um, go into 7-zip uh, on the right click, and then go to extract files. And the window will pop up um, asking where you want to extract the file to. And at this time, make sure your uh, phone is connected to the to the computer, and also you'll be able to find it under your computer. So I have it under uh, removable disk E. Uh, remember, do not make any subfolders or anything. Just extract it onto the SD card directly. So once you did that click OK. Um, it will look just something like that. Uh, just one just simple one drive and no subfolders. And once you click OK it will start extracting and since I do have um, Android on my SD card already so I would not be extracting that. And once you're done with that um, you'll see a folder that's a called Android and under there uh, you will see all these um, Android um, Android data in there. So on the phone, once you unmounted it, you can just go to Files and then go to Android. Uh, one thing you have to do before you boot um, Android is you have to. Uh, click the CLRCAD, clear CAD. Um, it's one of the things that it clears off um, while you're using Windows or else it will crash with the um, Android and you might not be having uh, the correct sound or um, voice from your phone. And after you click that, uh, it's okay to click the next one, H-A-R-E-T, Harrit. So once you click it, it starts booting, as you can see. Oh, let me wipe that grease off my phone really quick. Um, on the first boot, it does take a good, I would say, good two minutes at least, um, as it have to run everything else on it for the first time. Sorry about that. And so, while we're waiting for that to load, um, if you have any comments or uh, questions or any future uh, videos that you want me to put, um, I will be more than glad to make any of those as soon as possible. I know I have been um, away from the from the web for a while because I've been busy doing something else. But now that I'm free and I can go back into um, con uh, concentrating back to my phone. And also one thing I want to do um, soon is uh, maybe to see if I can uh, boot Windows Phone 7 onto um, the HD2. 
because all the specs and requirements are met through this phone, so it's not it's not required to go buy the HD7. Especially, it's not so much better than this phone already. So as you can see, it's a little um, chunky, uh, not too smooth at the beginning, but um, once you load into it, and just uh, from after your first boot, you just have to look at, um, you get your signal bar, you get your T-Mobile bar, after that, um, on the top left corner, it says SD, uh, preparing SD card, when that's gone, you can start um, configuring your new device. Although this um, isn't the first boot, uh, there are so many dis uh, descriptions and all the help that you you would need uh, if you haven't played with an Android phone before. I'll go through every step with you. Um, if not, then you can just start um, going to and customizing your Android page. To, to shut off your phone uh, after your first boot right away and then reboot Android again if you want to run Android or else um, some of the functions may not work that's only for the first boot so after that uh, you can boot uh, anytime how many times ever you want okay alright thanks for watching